All set. All set. Fully mobile. Fully mobile. Woohoo! So, I think I got just about everything. I want to get some uh, chain bar oil. I don't have any. And so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find a spot on the way up. And then, um, and then I'll, you know, I've learned to become a little bit more chill about the process of getting out. You know, obviously, uh, you want to try to do it in a timely manner, but you also don't want to forget anything. And for me, the journey begins, you know, not when I get there, but at the beginning, you know. So I try to be a little bit more mindful of that. I, so many times I've been tearing out of town, you know. Like... As if I'm, I have some sort of mission I have to accomplish, you know, and really I'm just going to slack up north, you know. So, yeah. And you get anxious to get out there, too. That just stands to reason. But, yeah, anyway. I'm trying to be chill about it. So, yeah, on my way. Super lucky. So I had to bail for my mission at, um, at uh, Iron Bridge. I rode in, I don't know how far. I don't think that far, maybe 10 kilometers or something. Maybe not even that. And hit heavy, heavy, heavy duty mud. And I've got the canoe on the rock on my ATV and, uh, and I quite a bit of stuff in my trailer and so. I I got pretty stuck a couple times and I managed to get out and I thought I don't even I don't even know where I'm going or how much further up it goes so I need to do a much lighter version of an explorer. I was thinking to explore the lakes themselves but really it's the trails I need to understand I think first. So there you go. So I basically rode in, managed to get myself out and I drove back here to uh, my regular area. I'm on Thomasina Lake right now. And um, yeah, it's really beautiful. So Thomasina is always a beautiful lake. Doing some fishing. And uh, maybe a little extra exploring. Got my bobber out there.
Well, this is definitely early spring, man. Definitely, definitely, it's cold. It's been just below zero every night, it seems. And the fishing has been absolutely terrible. <laughs> it just goes to show you, you know, you never know. I think that the area got pretty heavy pressure through the, uh, through the winter time. Fishing pressure that way is a little bit more than normal. So, but I'm, I made myself a, a little world here and I'm pretty comfortable. Boiling some water. Warming up my French press for some legit coffee. And some, got some oatmeal lined up. Brought some of my maple syrup that I made, which is super cool. And I uh, got all my wood, my tent. Yeah, it's nice in here. Here's my setup. Tent. That's the trail going up that way. Here's my ATV and my trailer. And I have this grip pipe mount. It's just locked on. And put on for me by my buddies, the Bowmans, the Bowman brothers, Sonny and Jake. Actually, Sonny and my son, Liam, assembled it. So now I can have my canoe up here, carry all my stuff in here. So it's a good little setup. I'm digging it. I'm just waiting for the fish now. All the luxuries. That's the beauty of having an ATV. You can bring the goodies. oatmeal instant oatmeal it's good it's fine out here it stays with you for a while too thing coming out here I don't know how long I'm staying at 
I don't know. Maybe eventually the shitting will just get to suck and I won't want to stay. But there is something amazing. When you can be up here in this environment and there's no bugs, because it's still too cold. There's still sort of ice in the cracks and stuff. Um, so it's nice. Bugs are part of it. They come. But there's always that window in the spring if you can swing it. My job doesn't start up until a little bit later this year. So I've got the time. And I had heard that things were going to get shut down again. Some other kind of major lockdown. There was talk of an announcement before I came in. Of course, I have no signal. <laughs> so I can't keep up. But... I'm alone. It doesn't get more isolated than this, that's for sure. And I always have enough fuel so that I don't have to stop between here and home. Um, literally just drive from my house up here, fill up my truck again with the fuel I bring, and drive back so that I don't have to be out and about. Mm. So check this out. This is beaver ingenuity. So there's a culvert. It goes here. You can see it's been ripped out a couple times. This part here obviously was washing out, but the beaver has a vested interest in this water level staying where it is. And he doesn't want it to go higher because his house is already there. Perspective. This culvert here wasn't doing it. So he made his own dam. And the road guys just leave it be because it lets the perfect amount of water through. I think it's incredible. I love it. Beaver ingenuity. Look at this speckle. It's a huge male. I'm just trying to tire him out. Can't <laughs> keep him in frame. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a big one. Yeah, really big one. Up. Beautiful speckle. Just a little too big for me. Oh, yeah. Sun's just coming up. Just beautiful day. It's cold, it went below zero, but it's totally clear. I already caught a good sized fish. Of course, couldn't get my phone going. <laughs> yeah, some bites. can hear the birds more now.
I always like to keep a lot of uh, stuff ready to go. Um, just in case something happens, I got sick or uh, I got hurt and I needed fire and uh, I wasn't well enough to get it. Just little things that you can do when you're out here to help take care of you. I have my tarp ready to assemble. Um, and yeah, I always have more wood than I need. Just a way of staying safe. 